Hey guys, NetherDev here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make back accessories in Roblox uh, Studio, just like this backpack right here, and that can be uploaded to the UGC item. And this is the full process, so we went over everything from modeling, coloring, to importing and attaching. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh my god. Alright guys, so I'm in my base plate here. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is on the plugins tab on the top of the screen. You can go ahead and click on it. You're going to go ahead and find the rig builder plugin. Here it is. Uh, and you can just click on it. And then you can just go ahead and insert a block rig. And as you can see, it spawns in a little dummy. And this dummy, you can open it up. You can go to the humanoid root part right here. And you're going to want to set the position of it um, to be 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. So now you can see it's in the ground. I'm just going to move the spawner. Alright, so you can see the dummy is in the ground. Now what we can go ahead and do, if you want to, this is optional. You can just move him up so he's not in the floor. Just like this, but don't move him to the sides. Just move him up. Alright, so now what we're going to do, again, in the dummy... We can select everything except for the humanoid and the head. Do not select the humanoid or the head. So we're just going to select everything. And then we can right click and click select, select children right here. Alright, so now that we have all their children, we're just going to go ahead and delete them. Alright, so just grab their children and delete them. This is what you want to do. So now you can see we have the head here. In the head, we're going to select everything except for the mesh. You want to keep the mesh um, because that is what it gives the head its shape. So select everything except for the mesh. And then we delete it. So now we have a faceless dummy with no children. It's kind of creepy um, that that's what we need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select a dummy. And we can right click. And down here, you're going to see it says export selection. You're going to click that. Then you're going to want to find a folder where you're going to save your dummy to import it to Blender so we can make our UGC item. So you can just go ahead and rename it to Tutorial Dummy and click Save. I'm not going to save it because I already have one saved from the other tutorial. But you'll just do Tutorial Dummy and just click Save and it's going to save the dummy for you to export. So now what we can do is open Blender. So you can see I have Blender open right on my screen. All right, what you're gonna do is you can go ahead and select everything in the um, collection here. You can right click and click um, delete right there. So I can see we have an empty Blender world. So in the file tab on the top of the screen, we can go ahead and click import. And we can click, uh, we can hover over import, and then we can click on obj file. There you go, wavefront.obj. So you're gonna find your file. So you can see I have tutorial um, dummy.obj. There's gonna be a tutorial dummy.mlt, which is the texture, and tutorial dummy.obj. The texture doesn't matter, so we're gonna click on tutorial dummy.obj and click import obj. Now, as you can see, we have a tutorial dummy. So now we can go ahead and create our back accessory. I have no idea which way is the back, but it doesn't matter. Um, because we're going to put it on the back later. So what we can do is we can click shift in A. And we can hover over mesh and insert a cube. So I am just going to make a quick backpack. So we can go ahead and move it up here. If you already have your accessory, you can skip to the timestamps in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the modeling tab now that we have our cube. Alright, I forgot to do that earlier. And what we can do is we can click scale or we can go to face select right here. It's face select. So you have corner select, uh, line select, and face collect in the top of the screen. I'm going to use face select. I'm going to select the face. And then we can move it with G. And we can just, I'm just going to move it this way because it's easier. So you can just move it down to scale. Right? It's how big I want my backpack to be. Then what I'm going to do is select this face again. 
is uh, and I'm going to use control and R and you can see it creates a line here so I can just click on it and now we have a line that we can move around so I'm just going to move it like right here so we can add like a more shape to the backpack so now I'm going to open up uh, edge select and what we can do is we can grab the corners and you can just move them in like this to make the backpack less uh, like rough I'm going to select this face right here. What I can do is extrude it a little bit. And then I can scale it down. Like this. So this can be like a pocket in the backpack right here. And let's extrude it a little bit so you can color it better later. And also I'm going to select this face up here. And you can extrude it with E. I'm not sure if I said that earlier but E is extrude. So you can extrude it. And then we can scale it down again to make like a little backpack pocket and then I'm going to extrude this a little bit more with E so now we have two backpack pockets for our backpack if you want on this side you can just go ahead and use Control R to create another line here which you can move like down here I guess and I'm just going to extrude this face to create extrude it and scale it again to create like a little pocket on the side I guess all right there we go. I made it a little bit smaller because it looked weird so there we go now that we have our backpack uh, model complete we can go ahead and get to coloring it so what we can do is we can open up the shading tab on the top of the screen all right so now that we have our nodes we can go ahead and open up our files we're going to find um, the file where we have a color palette. If you don't know what a color palette is, it's basically this thing. I found it online. Oops. So, if you can't see it, it's because it's an 8x8 um, pixel thing. It's blurry because um, it can't render it that small. But it's an 8x8 pixel picture of colors that we can use to color our items. If you don't have a color palette there's sorry my throat hurts okay much better if you don't if you don't have a color palette you can just go ahead and look it up online there are tons of color palettes for you to use all right so you can just go ahead and close this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the color palette once you download it and move it into this area right here and you can see it's going to create another node for us we can just close files now so you can see a little dot where it says color. We can just go ahead and drag that. You can see it creates a little uh, squiggly line. Uh, it's kind of fun. We can go ahead and move it to base color. So now you can see our backpack has this weird looking texture. Um, but what you can do, it's so down here to fix that where it says linear. Uh, we're going to set it to closest. Now it looks kind of weird still but it's pixelated you can see you can see the colors like you're supposed to now what we're gonna do now we have our image is we're going to move to the uh, UV editing tab all right and as you can see on this side of the screen to zoom in with a scroll wheel you can see the color palette we just imported so I want to have a blue backpack so what we're gonna do is back on this frame here uh, we can go ahead and just click the A key and you can see the entire backpack is selected And if we look on this frame, you can see it has this weird like wireframe thing We don't want that. So you're just gonna click A over here and you can click S So now you can see you can make it smaller, right and bigger you can make it smaller and bigger So you're gonna click the zero key So it's a tiny dot just in the middle of the screen of this area all right, and before we get to coloring, uh, what we're going to do is on this little drop down on the top of the screen, you can see it says shading. Very important, you click on this, all right, and it's going to bring down this thing. And where it says color, instead of being material, we're going to make the, it, we're going to make it to texture, like that. So now we can see it's colored the way it should be. Forgot to do this earlier, but it's very important. So now with our backpack, you can see it's brown. We don't want it to be 
unless you're having a brown backpack and that's fine but we're gonna change it to blue so we're gonna use alt and z don't click Control z because it's gonna undo things all right so we're gonna so you can see our backpack is now in x-ray mode and what we can do now is we can just go ahead and select the backpack or the area you want the backpack and over here on the screen you can click a and then you can click g and move the color to whatever color you want it to be i like this blue here there we go so if i were to go out of x-ray mode with alt and z again you can see my backpack is blue but i don't want all of it to be blue so i'm just going to select these faces right here to make a darker blue so i'm going to select this face all right and then over here you can click a and g and you can move that face to be the darker blue like that and these faces down here I can go to this tab and click A, and then click G, and I can move that to the same color, like so. And it's found here for this little pocket cup holder thing I made. You can also go down here, click A, and then G again, and you can just make the color whatever your heart desires. So I'm going to make it this color like that. There we go. So now we have our backpack modeled and uh, textured. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the modeling tab and you're going to say, oh no, my colors disappeared, but it's totally fine. The colors still exist in this tab over here. Uh, in this tab, I mean. All right, what we're going to do now is after I get my screenshot, wait a second, I need the thumbnail screenshot. Um, wait. Okay, perfect, perfect. I got my screenshot. Now what we're going to do is uh, back in the layout tab, uh, we're going to right click or click. Not letting me click anything. Hello. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna click on the tutorial dummy, and we're gonna right click and click delete. So now you can see we just have a floating backpack, which is what we need. So in the file tab on the top of the screen, we can click hover over export, and from there we can click on FBX file. So we're gonna save it as an FBX file. And once you find your Blender folder or whatever, you're gonna save it. You're gonna go ahead and rename it. Instead of being untitled the FBX, uh, you're gonna have your name for it. So for me, I'm gonna have backpack, backpack, tutorial, just like that. And I can click export FBX. Okay, so back in uh, Roblox Studio here, you can go ahead and delete this dummy. We don't need them anymore, all right? And what we're gonna do is in the workspace, we can go ahead and add in a mesh part. See, we have a little mesh part right here, and it's weirdly colored, as you can see. What you're gonna do is you can go ahead and click on the mesh ID. You can go ahead and click on this little folder tab thingy, right? And you're going to go ahead and find your backpack, and it is going to be huge. Yeah, look at that, it's huge, and I said this last video, but I am currently having a problem where all of my blender things, um, the colors are messed up, and I don't know why that's happening or if there is a solution to it, but I'm pretty sure that's only a me problem. So you can see that's why my textures look different than in blender, it's because I'm having a weird little problem. So we're just going to scale this down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new dummy because we deleted the old one as we didn't need the old one. So we're going to go to the plugins tab and you're going to go to the rig builder plugin and insert a block rig. You can see we have a little dummy. We can rotate him. There we go. Um, so now we're just going to fit the backpack onto his back. All right. So now that we have our backpack, the correct size and the correct position. All right. What we're going to do is we can go ahead and add in an accessory to workspace and we can go ahead and rename it to the backpack so we can take our mesh part and move it into the backpack there we go and very important you rename the mesh part to be handle that's uh, nice spell it handle like this it needs to be spelled exactly this way because that is how we're going to attach it. All right, now on to attaching in the dummy. 
um, you can go to the torso right here the upper torso and you can see all of these attachments here now this is a back tutorial um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the body back attachment here and we're going to rename it and we can just copy the name all right so just copy the name of body back attachment and in the handle here we can add in an attachment and we can just rename it and we can paste body back attachment like this all right so now we're going to move the backpack into the dummy and you can see it is rotated and uh it is the way it should be though other than the rotation so we're going to select the attachment in the dummy right so really important to select the attachment in the handle not in the dummy get the handle attachment all right and you're going to go to the rotate tab and rotate it the correct way from the handle now, it might be a little bit wonky there we go nope there we not go apparently there we go so now we have our backpack um uh, rotated the right way it's not scaled the way it was before so again, you can select the attachment and we can get started on this very wonky moving thing. Um, Roblox needs to work on this because this is really strange, but we're going to move it the way we want. There we go. That's better. And move it up. Okay. There we go. So we moved it just a little bit up. And then as you can see, it's kind of in the dummy. So again, select the attachment and we can move it out. Okay, once you have an actual good position for your backpack, uh, you are now done. You have successfully created a UGC item that you can go ahead and upload to the Roblox UGC program if you are in the UGC program. I'm pretty sure that's everything you need to do. I'm not in the UGC program, but I'm pretty sure this is what you need to do. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy and you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I spend a lot of time on my tutorial videos, and I would really appreciate it. Remember, if we get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, I will give away a thousand uh, Robux. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!